If you wish to customize the shop page in WooCommerce, which is also the same as the category tag or any product archive page, then here is how you use the visual hook guide for the shop category page in order to add content. You're familiar now with the visual hook guides and you know that they look exactly the same as the front end shop in this case with the only difference being the list of hooks and their exact position you can copy them and paste them and use them to add remove or move content from this template now uh, let's imagine that I want to add some content in between the page shop title and the beginning of the products. What do I do? I just go to my visual hook guide and then find out if there is something in between the title and the block of products. And what I can find are two things. One is the archive description hook and the other one is the before shop loop hook. Remember any product archive or any list of products, it's called loop, products loop. Now, while the archive description is probably something to do with the category description, tag description, I want to use the before shop loop um, hook in order to print some extra content on this page. So what do I do? I copy the hook and I go to my FTP, open my child theme functions.php and start writing my PHP function. I remember the hook name was before shop loop. In order to add content in this exact position, I just start typing add underscore action, open the brackets, wrap the hook in between quotes, and then mention my trigger function. This trigger func function will be responsible for printing the content I want right in the position that I want. So I'm going to call it business bloomer uh, shop intro. Close quote, close brackets and semicolon. Now I am triggering a function in this position. So this function must exist. Okay, now it exists, but is doing nothing. So if I want to add content to a page, if I want to print content onto a page in PHP, I use echo and whatever goes onto that page is wrapped into quotes. Remember the easiest way to make sure that this is going to work before you do all your complex PHP functions is just to echo some text. So I'm just going to say text and save and just verify that after I send the file back to the server and I refresh my shop page, the content is going to show exactly or almost like in this case, uh, exactly where I wanted it, which is in between the title and the beginning of the content. Now, the reason why this is pushed in here is possibly because it's missing some CSS, it's missing some HTML. So I want to make sure that we're doing things right. And I go back here and I just wrap text in between a paragraph. This paragraph by default should take a full width. So I'm just going to save, upload back, and refresh and this time my text is on its own line and is pushing the product loop uh, below itself okay so this works now you can do complex things you can just go back to your php and add images add whatever html you want and remember 
If you've seen the previous um, video on the single product page, you can even echo short codes by using the do short code function and inside brackets go quotes and in here you can put your short code and this will print whatever short code content in the position that you want. So once again, super simple, go to the visual hook guide, select a position and then at that stage, go to your functions.php, use that hook, trigger your function and echo some HTML. Now, this is for the whole shop page, but what if I want to show something inside the product loop? So for example, I want to show a free shipping um, notice under each item in the shop page, of course, where right um, below the add to cart button, okay? So what do I do? I take a look and I search for a hook which is below the add to cart. There is none. So possibly I need to use the same hook that generates the add to cart button, but with a higher priority. If you scroll down, you will see the list of default WooCommerce uh, functions that uh, hook into um, this page. And you will see that the template loop add to cart is added thanks to the WooCommerce after shop loop item um, hook with priority 10. So what I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy this code, go to my PHP and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one because I'm interested in triggering my own function. I keep the same hook, but if I hook into 10, I don't know how this is going to behave because it's the same priority as the add to cart button. So what you do is you increase the priority by one. So it's now 11 and this for sure will be called after priority 10. At priority 10, we have the add to cart. At 11, we have our own function. You can put a new function here if you want, or you can reuse another function that you've previously uh, written. So for example, I want to put my bloomer shop intro, which you can of course rename into something else. If I now save and uh, go to my FTP and send the file back um, online and refresh the shop page, I should now see that under each item add to cart button, there is my content and exactly the content that that function I wrote generates. So you see how the shop page is actually a little bit more complex than the single product page because it, it is a static template plus a loop of products. So the visual hook guide, in case you need to add content into specific uh, positions, will help you identify the hook and write your uh, correct function.